Last time at Las Vegas. Joey Logano and wait a second. Isn't it weird how Joey Logano is always good at the Penzoil 400? Hmm. Anyway, Chase Elliott, who finished second in the previous race, got injured in a snowboarding accident and will miss this race and possibly more. Xfinity Series driver Josh Berry will take over the number nine for the foreseeable future. Joey Logano leads early but would lose stage one to William Byron. This is Las Vegas, not Daytona. Nothing happens here. <laughs> stage two was about the same. Daniel Suarez and Christopher Buescher got into the wall as well as Josh Berry and Joey Logano and Kyle Busch and William Byron win stage number two. The race restarts as William Byron continues to dominate and Joey Logano loses talent. Okay, wait a second. That was actually kind of a good save. Oh my goodness, he got airtime. Why is Eric Jones driving backwards on pit road? Wait, haven't I seen this before? The race restarts and this time Denny Hamlin leads the pack as a three-wide battle takes place behind him. Kyle Larson takes the lead from Denny Hamlin as the battle continues behind him. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't wrecked yet with how aggressive they are and Ross Chastain within a one-mile radius. Kyle Larson holds onto the lead all the way until four laps to go when Eric Almarola smacks the wall, and did they really need a caution for that? No, but exciting finish. Everyone pits, and William Byron barely takes the lead on pit road. Well, almost the lead. Martin Truex Jr. stayed out on old tires. Alex Bowman makes it three wide instantly off the start as Byron takes the lead with a four wide battle behind him. Bowman makes a huge move off the back stretch, smacking the wall, but it doesn't matter as HMS drivers keep the momentum and finish one, two, and three as they wreck on the back stretch behind him. And William Byron would start off 2023 with a strong and dominant win at Las Vegas.